review fusion applications family's functional topology. If you recall, in the previous module, I have shown you the technical topology by logging on as WebLogic administrator and going to the console and taking you through the technical topology. So let's now go on to the front end of Fusion applications and I'm going to take you through the functional topology. The two ways to have a look at that. So I'm in Fusion applications now and to review the topology that's been automatically created as a part of your installation go to review topology right here at the bottom link and you can see that in a diagrammatic way so let's say i'm here as of now and it is showing me all the domains that's been installed in fusion applications which includes scm domain projects domain procurement OSN, migration, and so on. It also includes IDM domain, which stands for identity management domain, and so on. And if you would like to view more information about each of these domains, then you can expand that. For instance, SCM domain, simply expand that. So I've just clicked on this button. If I click on that again, it's gonna hide all the children. So let's see if I want to review the projects domain. So click on that to expand and it's gonna show you all the projects domain over here, which includes project web services, policy manager, project management module, project SOA, PRJ search, and PRJ. PRJ stands for, you know, it's, it's like a module acronym, just like eBusiness Suite. And then you've got project financials, project ESS, diagnostic dashboard and then project diagnostic dashboard. Similarly, if you would like to see the topology for procurement that you can click over here and you can see what's been installed as part of your server. So you've got iSupplier portal and procurement web services policy manager. So policy manager is a place wherein you control the access to your users in the application as the name itself tells you apart from IDM. So it's one layer on top of IDM. You've got procurement SOA, procurement ESS diagnostic dashboard, procurement ESS, procurement diagnostic dashboard and procurement main application in itself. You can expand it further and see if there are anything further. So in this case there are and then you can see what all is there in procurement. So you've got procurement, procurement users, supplier service, and there are many more registration, profile management. So if you're familiar with eBusiness Suite, you would see that a lot of things are pretty much similar, like requisitioning, procurement related setup, or create requisition, or PON stands for sourcing, so sourcing related setup. And then you've got supplier registration, so PON again, for sourcing, so sourcing negotiations, sourcing notifications, and then these are like, I should say more or less like individual functions within a module. Then setup and watch list and so on. There are many, many more out here, okay? Sometimes it may be a bit challenging to see each of these in detail. And in such a case, what you can do is you can go to this particular tab called as detail. And here you can expand in the same way that I have done out there in graphical user interface. So let's say if I want to see more about procurement, the same thing we were viewing via the GUI. So go to procurement domain, let's say here it is, and you can expand that and you would see exactly the same thing, but now the navigation is a bit more easier. So that's how you review the topology. In case you have registered any custom domain, then that may as well appear as long as you have configured it properly. And then there are diagnostic tests as well. So if at all you have installed diagnostic tests, then it will be visible over here. So that's how you go about reviewing the functional topology. Now what I will do, I will log out from this particular user and then I will log in as the user FA admin and let's quickly go and review the technical topology. The reason for showing you is 
you should be aware of the navigation, how one can view that. Although I won't be going into the technical aspect of the topology there. So I'm going to log in with the user FA admin. So first I will put on the URL for Enterprise Manager for Fusion Applications and here I will log in with FA admin. And the first thing that you would see over here is the dashboard on the right hand side. You would see the similar kind of a topology that we have viewed via the functional front end. Now here you can click and go further down if you like. You know, it is now showing you the statuses of the servers that you have just selected. Okay, but if you would like to have a network kind of a diagram in the same way as we have seen in the functional topology that can be viewed right from here by clicking topology and what I would do is first click over here and then I will click on topology. This is where it's going to open a separate window and show us the GUI network diagram for technical topology. And the added benefit in technical one is that you can view the server status right from here on the right hand side that states topology. So when you click on that, it's going to show you the server status over here. So going back, you can see you've got the IDM database as well as Fusion database and individual products and the associated server that are connected to them are shown here. So let's say if you would like to see the admin server, you expand this or if you would like to see the ESS cluster. So open that. It will show you the details of that. You can click on more and it's going to take you to the status of that. The good thing is when you just hover over it, it's going to show you the status right here. Now, as you could see here, there are two of the servers which are down. It is showing us the status, so you can click on that one. And if you would like, you can go and view why they are down and potentially you can try to restart them if you like. So that's how you view the technical topology. Mm -hmm.